you basically have to guess which ghost it is, from what I understand. Quick, name every ghost. Quick, name every so your ghost your evidences ghost. tell you what ghost is which. If you go into your um your settings thing, right, and you go to journal, there's 24 different ghosts. And it'll tell you what each evidence is for it to count towards it. Obviously, we're going to start on the easiest difficulty because it gets pretty hard. Um, That's yeah, what he said. Ghosts, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I ain't afraid of no ghost. So there's a sanity system in the game where you start off at 100 sanity. And as the game goes on, since you're generally going to be in complete darkness unless you turn on the lights, um, your sanity will go down, and the more things the ghost does, your sanity will slowly go down. Oh, it's like that and, uh, old GameCube game, Eternal Darkness. Yes. More like Amnesia so or any horror game. So after your sanity reaches a certain point, ghosts will start hunting, but I don't get the points of it. Um, Apparently, if you say its name, you'll piss it off. Yep, so you say its name, it'll get more mad and start doing more activity. Yes, and I believe, to uh, other things. I believe, uh, saying its name, um, caused it to go into hunting mode? Not automatically, no. It, it just, it just increases the activity so your sanity goes down. Oh. Yep, so there is cursed possessions in this game where if you find them... Which, um, there's a voodoo doll, a monkey paw, a mirror, a Ouija board, and tarot cards. Each of them reduces your sanity, oh, and a summoning circle. So each of them reduces your sanity, and they lead to cursed hunts, which is a longer hunt than normal. Uh, you could tell when a ghost starts hunting, because while you have your flashlight on... I'm trying to remember how to activate mine. Uh, I'm just going to press every button. Not it. That's not it. Actually, why don't I just look at options? But a ghost yeah, will hunt, so if control. you have your flashlight on, your flashlight will start to blink, right? And it'll blink really fast, and if you try to leave through the front door, the front door will be locked. So there's hiding spots throughout every map, um, generally like in closets or behind a stack of shelves or whatever. And that's where you're supposed to go, but if you leave your flashlight on and if you leave your mic on and like your mic is making noises and the game can detect it the ghost will find you and it will kill you so any electronic devices on your character in game if they're like on and you're like wielding them and they're on then the ghost will find you and the ghost will kill you so basically while the ghost is hunting you should definitely take out your cell phone and video call your friends so that way it rings just start, yes. Just, just start, just start browsing Twitter. There's only oh my two God. differences. There's only three cases where it's different. The wraith, which it will hunt one person, it'll target one person and hunt them, and then it will kill them, and it'll start slowly going after everybody else. Every other ghost in the game, when it hunts some hunts and it kills somebody, it ends the hunt after it kills somebody, except for the wraith. Um, the Dio Gen is the one you cannot hide against. If you hide against the Diogen, it will find you and kill you no matter what. But the caveat to beating it is it's fast when it's away from you, but when it's near you, it's slower than shit. Ah, so the caveat the is literally just like like shoving your dick in its face. <laughs> you stay off me. And then the other one is... I'm trying to remember. A yokai, which... If you're far enough away from a yokai and you keep your mic on and your and your equipment on, it will not find you. But if you're close enough to it, it will. I see. Yes. So those are the only three examples where it's different. But since Danny's host, I think. Um. Yeah. Um. But I think we all need to ready up first. Yes. been ready. Running isn't always the best option. And this was the only map I could choose because like I just started the game. Why is there a clock up here? So, 
since we're on the lowest difficulty, that's how long of a grace period you get, okay? So, since we're on the lowest difficulty, five minutes is how much of a grace period we have before the ghost actually starts the ability to be able to hunt. So the game gives us some leeway. Okay. We really didn't add anything, so we only have one flashlight. The computer, there's different cameras around the area. So if you click the interact button, with it, I'm trying to remember what mine is. Or on the mouse, you click the interact button on the mouse, it'll switch cameras. If there's more than one camera. Welcome to my Five Nights at Freddy's, let's play. Um, so there's a key hanging right next to this touchpad that you always have to pick up before you go in. Alright. And you picked it up and then you click touchpad to open the door. Where's the touchpad? There's the touchpad. There's a touchpad. Ah, I see. Alright, so what all do we want to get? We want to probably get stuff. I'll probably get this EMF the reader. And thermo thermometer. If that's good with you guys. Yeah. What do you guys want to get? I just dropped them before. This purple thing. That's called a glow that's stick. That's your glow stick. We, we didn't add everything to this. Ooh. And then you also have camcorders. Um, at some point we'll get dots projectors, which if you don't know what they are in regular ghost hunting, it's like those things like green dots all over the wall. Mm -hmm. And a ghost will walk through it, and that's called dots, which will show up, and that's an evidence. Um, one ghost is a difference, is an obake, it only shows dots through a camera. Well, uh, Chris is already losing sanity, so we're doing good. No, that, that'll happen. It'll it'll fluctuate between ninety nine to one hundred. I since they haven't left the truck. Okay. Um, I have a feeling we should probably grab some kind of cameras. I don't know if we we don't have cameras, but we should probably get like a camera to set up. And there's a button for walkie, so it doesn't matter where we are. We can still talk. Oh yeah. Um... No! Oh, this is a dots. Okay, this is dots. Dots? Dots? Yep, so the green dots right here in front of me. Ghost oh. walks in front of that. Yep. Um, I think one of you guys should probably place the camera before the grace period is over. So if you click the interact button, it, um... Opens doors, you just gotta click and drag. But since we're on the lowest difficulty, the breaker is always on. Alright. That's good to know. Yep, so we can turn on the lights, the breaker will never pop. Unless the ghost triggers it. So like look here, if you if you open up this door, if you were to hide you have to come in here and close the door. Close. Yep, and make sure you don't talk. Like, with my headset, I have to do is click the mute button. I feel like clicking the mute button in that scenario is kind of cheaty. Um, I think I found a cursed object. The mirror? No, no, no. So the, the cursed object, the mirror will be circle. So it's just like but a hanging mirror? Difficulty, we don't get cursed objects. Okay. I don't know how to tell when the race. The crazy thing is, we all can hide in the same place, but if it's a race, it'll literally just kill all three of us at the same time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's yep, a and there's good a money point. system in this game where you earn money based off of the pictures you take, like down here. This is where the Ouija board would spawn, by the way. But you earn money based off of how many pictures you take if you get the ghost right and if you yeah. live. Um, if you don't live, you lose money. Um, and if you bring any items in with you that you have bought previously, it will automatically, like, not give them back. Ah, okay. Um, so it sounds like I'm gonna die. Um, the lights are flickering. Oh, God. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. The ghost popped the breaker. Yep, I said the ghost popped the breaker. 
Which in the truck it tells you where the breaker is located, but in this map it's only two places it could be. How old are you? What is your name? Yep, I just went to turn the breaker back on. Thank you. Where are you? Can you hear me? What is my name? Do I have to... Alright, getting no responses back on the spirit box. Are you a ghosty goat? I'm not a ghost. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Can I take your hat, sir? Can I take your hat, sir? So a door moved over here. I I, I moved the door. <laughs> oh, you moved the door? Yeah, because I'm trying to. I'm still trying to figure but out. This how to light get... is now off because I turned it on earlier. Well, now I turned it back on. How do you... Okay, so how do you close door on controller again? Okay, I'll step outside with me. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't. Yeah, I, I, I only figured that out. Hey guys, just I confirmed think. freezing temps. Like, I, I just heard a sneeze that like sounded like it was in game. Was that like my character or something? That was me. That was me sneezing. Oh, okay, so oh that's that, that that equipment sound, that can be that shut down. Sound like the voice chat, that sounds Are you a dingus? Do you are have stupid? Oh, well, okay. Good to know that my sanity's going back up. Zach, your sanity is at 69. Nice. So if you open up the, the settings and you go to the journal, it'll tell you what. Um, if you go to objectives, it'll tell you what optional objectives you have to do. Oh, I have to turn the EMF reader on. What a load of baloney. Hey Chris, can you walk over this way for me? Just yeah. just keep walking here because I don't have a flashlight. Uh, I think the garage is here. Yeah, Thank this you. Is the garage. <laughs> that was totally what I meant to do. All right. Thank you. Right here. Right in the book. Give us a sign. Oh. I have a spirit box. Are you looking down on me, sir? Um, <laughs> so, um... Sorry, we're closed. I have, like, kind of an analog EMF reader. Um, if I see a little red light come up on it after I'm done speaking, is that the ghost replying, or...? No, you'll hear the ghost reply. I'll hear the ghost reply. Alright, how low is my sanity getting? Sixty. Amazing. The ghost can set off the car, so I was thinking it's either the garage or the um Alright, who's going into the garage with me? I'll come. Yep, lockers are also hiding spots. But if the ghost sees you go into the locker, this is the ghost room. Um, yeah, this is for sure the ghost room. If the ghost sees you go into the locker, it will kill you. Okay, that's that's good to know. Thank you guys messing with the car horn. That'd be me. No, that's the ghost. Or yeah, you can turn off the car horn by going up to it, if it starts, you know, doing that. So are you sure the temperature said negative 5? Temperature for sure said negative 5 in this room. Alright. So let's leave, go back into the truck so we can mark it. I already put it in the journal. Actually, hey Chris, can I see that glow stick? Uh, sure. And Ethan hasn't gotten back to me. Thank you. 
And, uh, can you watch my six on that camera? Or wait, there should be ghost uh, sure. orbs, I think. I think if you try and look around. I think that's one, too. Um, Zach, that looks like ghost writing. Oh no. I'm dead. Nope. <laughs> I, I was in the garage and uh, the lights went out and I just heard like the heartbeat noise and I'm like, nope. Yep, that was a ghost event. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure uh, I saw the ghost. It's a canon event. Um, here you go. If you go to overview, yep, it counts as a ghost event. If I go to overview? Yep, so if you click the pause menu and you go to ghosts, and then it should pop up an overview tab. And then if you go to overview, it says have a member of your team witness a ghost event, which you did. Oh. Well, okay. The more of these optional objectives we get done on top of if all of us live, the more money we get. Um, where's the camera? The camera's on the shelf in there. <laughs> in the garage? Yeah, I put it there. Nice. Good spot. And I, I, I see the ghost orbs in the freaking... Like, they're popping up, like, towards the side of the laundry. Oh, nice. So we can mark that as an evidence. Yep, ghost orbs are there. You, you can see it, like, right against, right against the door. Right there, the open door, so they've been popping up. Okay, so it's either a Revenant, yeah. Yure, Hantu, or Onryo. Or Ornryo. Yep, so a Revenant, you don't want. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Basically, if it starts hunting next to us, you're not going to outrun that bitch. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, very fast. Um... I think well, we did find a uh, ghost writing. I'm pretty sure there is ghost writing there? in the garage. I saw some scribbles in that journal. You want us to go back as a team and look? Yeah, sure. All right, gaggle, let's go. Let us go, gaggle. You with us? So yeah. it means it can hunt at any time right now. Oh fuck! At least oh. on. There's no scribble. There is scribbles in the book. Okay, let's leave. Be out. Yep. That is a revenant. Fuck that. Time to get out of here. Do you see how fast that is? <laughs> <laughs> wow. None of us died either. Good job, guys. Yep. And yeah, we have determined it is a revenant. Up to the pad. Alright. Did right, you guys all mark it? Oh fuck, I forgot to mark it. <laughs> <laughs> My menu speed is so slow. I just leveled up twice. Yo, which man here is levitating? Uh well. That'd be me. <laughs> Why are you levitating? You're also levitating, you... my dude. Huh? Oh, you, you didn't have a walk cycle for a little bit there. Are we the ghosts? Yes. Hey, there's like games and stuff up here. Nice. Sorry, I haven't hey, Chris. Chris, come up here. Or Chris and Zach, come up here. There's like games and stuff. You guys want to play Jenga? Yo, let's go bowling. I already knocked down all the pins. <laughs> but like. I almost lost basketballs. Hey, 
Hey, I counted. Kobe. Oh, that crashed and burned. <laughs> Cornhole, anybody? Hell yeah. One of the E's. In. Ah. <laughs> hey, Chris got it. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's 69, though. Got it, Danny. Nice. <laughs> we play a very dangerous game. Jing blocking the basketball hoop. Yes. Not high enough. Dang. Got it. <laughs> no, no, no. Get back here, ball. I like to play with balls. I mean, what? I mean, Zach does like his balls. Um, nice. if it rolls downstairs. If it rolls downstairs, you lose. Intercept. <laughs> uh, uh, Chris, I didn't make Jacob fall. Look at this. Holy cow. So, both of y'all are making it tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yes. Good, I don't want to be the only one losing. <laughs> I am not playing Sprite this time, so everybody should have a better time. <laughs> I don't know if you'll have a better time, because I'm playing the deck. And I'm playing the deck that I have yet to beat that deck with. And don't worry, I'll make sure this gets published after tomorrow. Because if I win, you want to make sure everybody knows that I won. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you, if, if you face down, you know not to run. <laughs> I lost the ball again. Guys, both my balls dropped. <laughs> we are fighting. <laughs> I make Yu-Gi-Oh content. Well, that is it well, for this video, then. For Kobe. Well, that, that was bad. Go ahead and give it a like. Subscribe. You guys know what to do. As always, I'll see you in the next one where we all play Jenga.